1초, 2초, 1초. 발사. 시작됐습니다. 발사. Lifting off South Korea's attempt at becoming a space age nation, its first rocket carrying an observation satellite was successfully launched from a site 500 kilometers south of the capital Seoul. Built with Russian know-how, the narrow rocket is the result of a $400 million project and brings more controversy with its feuding neighbor, North Korea. South Korea says the program is purely for scientific and peaceful purposes, designed to get the country into the lucrative satellite market. The North says the technology used for rockets could easily be used to produce ballistic missiles. The last Stalinist state is still bristling from the afterburn from its own rocket launch last April, which they claimed was carrying a communication satellite, but which the international community say was a cover for the test of the Taipo Dong-2 long-range missile. That launch resulted in UN sanctions, North Korea's withdrawal from six-party talks, and then, in open defiance, it staged its second atomic test. They claim they were treated unfairly and say they will be watching closely to see the international reaction to South Korea's rocket launch. There have even been suggestions of a military strike on the South. The truth is that a military strike is highly unlikely. If anything, the criticism from the North has been rather muted, coming mostly from its official news agency and not from senior members of the establishment. And there are factors which suggest that relations with the West are actually improving. The meeting in Seoul on Sunday between the North Korean delegation and President Lee, the South Korean leader, is proof of that. It was the first high-level meeting between the two countries in two years. The slight thawing in the hardline stance started when former U.S. President Bill Clinton went to Pyongyang to secure the release of two American citizens, a clear signal, say observers, that North Korea wants better relations. Bukhani. The U.S. wants to have talks with North Korea, and North Korea wants to normalize North Korea-U.S. relations through dialogue and with Kim Jong-il's physical condition getting better. It will eventually lead to a better relationship. So signs are good. Kim Jong-il, the North Korean leader, is thought to have suffered a stroke a year ago, and his improving health is seen as important to better relations. He has been seen at recent public engagements and is said to be enthusiastic about better times with the U.S., both to help the economy of his impoverished country and to help improve relations with the South and the right-wing government of President Lee. To underline that, the North has announced the ending of its self-imposed blockade and the resumption of reunions of divided families split between North and South, which was suspended in 2007. With the launch of the Naro rocket, South Korea underlines its place as a modern progressive country. It's light years away from where the North is today. Maybe there is now a change of heart and a willingness to engage with the outside world. But with its history of brinkmanship and defiance, nothing is ever certain with North Korea. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Seoul.